What's up guys, it is Nick Raff and welcome back to another video. We're back to our regularly scheduled program which is Magic Kit Reviews this week. Before we jump into the Magic Kit, if you guys are new here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon because it really does help me out. This week we're going to be taking a look at the Magic, it says 400 Tricks and Illusions Magic Kit by Marvin's Magic. I actually got this at Costco. I think it was like $30 or $25, $30. And on the inside it has all the tricks, which is great. I love this little flap in the front. You open up the flap and you can see all the tricks you're going to be getting on the inside, which is what I love about Marvin's Magic. A lot of Magic Kids don't do this. I don't know why they don't do this. I mean, what's better for a consumer than to see what you're actually paying for, as opposed to just having a closed box and just hoping that the tricks on the inside are good? I mean, come on, Marvin's Magic, you guys are doing it great. I open up the flap, I'm like, oh, look at all these awesome props. I really want to buy this now. So, great job, Marvin's Magic. Uh, let's jump into what we actually get on the inside. Plus, after I show you guys some of the tricks you get inside, I'll be performing some of them so you can see what they look like. All right, let's jump into it. Gotta take the plastic things off the side. Oh, that's called tape, not plastic. Boy, oh boy, am I smart. Yeah. Now I pull off the plastic part. Oh no, there's more tape. Come on, I don't want tape. Stop it. There we go. Aha! Plastic on. I'm gonna bring you guys closer so you can see what we get inside. So this is what you guys get inside the magic set. We'll start with the top left hand corner with the frozen fly eggs. That's actually like a variation of the uh, rattlesnake egg prank uh, where you actually give them this like little envelope, they open it up and it rattles, which is really cool. It's a great prank. Uh, next we have the kings to aces packet trick, which is really, really cool. I'll definitely show you guys that later. Uh, over here we have our sponge balls. Watch, I'm going to make these two sponge balls switch places. Here we go. Boom. And just like that they switch places. That was a really stupid trick. These are kind of firm though, I just realized, but after running them under some water that might be uh, pretty helpful. Jumping back one here, we have our like little film canisters here, which is actually pretty neat. And it involves this dice here. You have your spectator drop the dice in with whatever number they want facing upwards. So we'll have number five. You take this, put it inside this one give it back to the magician, and then the magician can figure out what number they chose, whatever number they put uh, facing upward. And you open it up and you're like, oh, it was actually number five. Uh, that's a pretty cool trick. All right, next up here, we'll actually jump to the bottom. Let's jump to the bottom too. Of course, the classic cups and balls magic trick that comes in just about every single magic tr set known to man. Uh, it's just so easy to produce, um, that's why we see a lot of them in almost every single magic set. We get the three pom-poms up top. Over here, it looks like we have some sort of chain. I've never really seen, like, an escape trick inside of a magic kit before, so that's a first. And I think this, uh, this little lock over here has something to do with it. Uh-oh, dr we dropped the keys. I'm making a mess, people. I'm making a mess. You can't take me anywhere, for God's sake. Put that back on there and close her up. All right, perfect. And uh, I think that's pretty cool. It's actually really neat. So I'll have to look into the instructions to see what that's all about. Of course, how could I even forget our magic wand? It's kind of a makeshift magic wand because I think there's like tricks or something on the inside of this. Oh yeah, there's like little illusions and stuff on here. Look at this. There's all kinds of optical illusions on the inside. That's actually pretty neat. I love me a good optical illusion, but we can actually close this back up and make it a magic wand. I don't think it's going to fit back in there, so I'm going to worry about that later. So we're going to put this off to the side. And underneath that magic wand, we get our two packs of cards. We get our Svengali deck, which is a special pack of playing cards. And then we get a, our Miracle cards over here, which is another special pack of playing cards. I'll have to read the instructions on how to use those. Next up over here, it looks like we got a bunch of different things. Uh, a playing card of some sort, um, the Joker, and on the inside it looks like we have something for the phone app. I think there's like a Marvin's phone app, and I think that you can do actually some more tricks using the app. I haven't tried it out yet, uh, but I mean, if you guys get the set and do it, let me know, because I'm probably not gonna have time to do that. 
Uh, and it looks like we have some different money magic tricks, which, I mean, I'm not 100% a big fan of because it looks like it's just straight up like fake money. So I don't know, maybe it's good for practicing or maybe it'll be good for social media, but I don't think it'll fool anybody because this does not look real at all. Um, but I guess I'll have to read the instructions and see what the tricks um, say or what the instructions say about these things. So over here, it looks like we have like a folder of some sort for some sort of trick. Uh, again, kind of cheaply made, doesn't look legit. Uh, and it looks like we have a jumbo playing card of some sort and something to do with like the diminishing cards Maybe they get smaller or something. So that's pretty cool. I'll look into that uh, Next up it looks like we have the instruction booklet uh, Very important. This is where you get your 400 tricks from all inside here, which is really cool There's some illustrations in there, which is really nice. And it looks like we get some sort of bag I guess it's some sort of like magic appearing bag. Maybe I can make something appear on the inside here, which is pretty neat. I'll have to look into that in the instruction booklet. Uh, so we'll put, oh, look at that. We got a little card or something. I'm gonna rip this out. Oh, baby. I'm the, the I put my name on the bottom of that and I'll be a part of the club. Watch, I'm gonna make the card levitate off my hand. Ready, here we go. If I get it in right position, oh, it's levitating upward. Ooh, how is that possible? Magic. Ooh, oh, that's a goofy trick. Uh, I'll have to read the instructions. Maybe I, I did that completely wrong. So the moral of the story here, people, is you're just going to need to read the instructions to learn some of these tricks. Next up, over here, all the way in the corner, kind of, we get our little like crystal coin case, which is a really cool trick. You pull up all the rubber bands, you trap a coin in the middle there, you put the rubber bands back on, you cover it up with a handkerchief, snap your fingers, and then pull the handkerchief off and the coin's gone, even though you actually rubber banded it all together and there's no way for it to get out. That's a great trick. I actually got that in a dollar store magic kit one time and it was really well put together. Up here we got like an ice cube with a fly in it. That's a little goofy. Uh, that would actually, maybe that would trick some people. If I put this in some water, maybe it would trick some people into thinking there was actually a fly in their drink. Uh, and it looks like we get some fly paddles, which I've never seen before in my life. I've seen paddles before, but I've never seen like fly paddles. I take one, I throw it back on, all kinds of goofy tricks you can do with this. Um, you get another one there as well, I'll have to read the instructions. A little floating device, you put that on the top of your uh, water bottle and you can make uh, the water suspend and not fall out of the water bottle. Um, and then you get a little uh, light up thumb over here, so that's pretty cool. All right, let's jump into some of the demos of these tricks. All right, welcome back. I'm gonna be demoing about three of the tricks in this magic set right about now. So ladies and gentlemen, for my first trick, I have the classic cups and balls. We got three balls and three cups. We take the center ball, put it on the center cup, take the other two, put them on top. I snap my fingers and just like that, that ball travels right through. Look, we'll do it. Uh, again, we take another ball right here, we'll put it on top of the center cup, take the other two, put them on top. I snap my fingers and bada bing, that second ball travels right through. So we got two balls there. Look, we'll do it one more time. We'll take this last ball, put it on the cup, take the other cup, put it on top. I snap my fingers and guess what? All three balls have tr tr Wait, you know what? I put one over here if we lift it up. There's the third ball, ladies and gentlemen, and that is the cups and balls. For my second trick, I'm gonna show you guys a crazy card trick. If you were here right now, I'd have you pick a random card, but you're not. So I'm just gonna riffle down the cards like this, and we'll just stop, and I want you guys to remember this card, lock it into your brain, do not forget what it is, perfect. We'll bury it back in the pack and watch. I'll give the deck a few cuts. And all I have to do is cut right here, and boom, there it is, the three of clubs. We'll take it one step further. We'll make sure we lose it back inside the pack, but watch, I will cut four random piles just like this. And look, you can choose whatever pile you want. Let's say you choose this one. Boom, there's your card, the three of clubs. But what if you would have chosen the other piles? You choose this one, boom, the three of clubs. You choose this one, boom, the three of clubs. You choose this one, guess what? It's the three of clubs. Isn't that crazy? But look, if I put all of these back together, watch. You can see that all the cards are still different. Isn't that crazy? 
For my last trick, I have a little stick here with six colors on it on either side. And here's what we're gonna do. If you were here right now, I'd have you pick a number between one and six, but you're not, so I'm gonna take this little die here, and we're gonna roll and see what color we get. So number two, so we spell two, we get T-W-O, so we land on green. And you can choose whatever number you want, it's completely free choice. So we got green, here we go, watch, on the count of three. One, two, three, and just like that, the stick turns green on either side. Isn't that crazy? So overall, I would say this magic kit is worth buying. Now, I'm not a big fan of some of like the money magic tricks in there. They seem a little cheap and fake because nobody is ever going to get fooled by that money magic. You pull those bills out, they're going to be like, oh, what are these? They, they don't even look real. They look completely fake. Maybe they're fun to like play with as a toy. But if you're actually trying to perform this for somebody, they're not going to believe you for a second. So maybe for a kid, maybe it would be fine. And, you know, because, you know, the parents can kind of go along with it and be like, Oh, wow, that's so cool, Johnny. Uh, but if you're actually trying to perform this stuff, I would definitely not do that. Now, this is made for younger kids. This is made for, what does it say on the front here? Does it even give you an age? Oh, for magicians aged 8 to adult. I'm technically an adult. I don't you know, consider myself an adult, but I am, sadly. It, it sucks. Don't don't get old. But uh, definitely eight-year-olds could definitely do a lot of the stuff inside this kit, which is great, but that those paper money tricks are, are, are a throwaway for me. I might play with them, or maybe I'll do it on TikTok. Oh, by the way, follow me on TikTok, at NickRapMagic. But overall, yes, I would say buy it, uh, besides the, 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 who, 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 words, 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 words. Yes, buy it besides besides the paper money trick, definitely buy it. There's all kinds of other cool things in there. Like, the, of course, you get the cups and balls. You get two trick decks of cards. You get the uh, little, little color stick here where we made it turn green. You get the die, the mentalism stuff, the escape trick, which is something I've never seen before. I'm actually gonna have to read up on that. And you get a little booklet with 400 tricks inside of it. So your kids or you will be busy for a long, long time. So, with all that being said, thank you go, thank you go, thank you go. <laughs> thank you guys so much for checking out the video and I'll see you guys next time, bye bye.